Hi everyone, hope you all are doing good. So for today's collective reading, um, I'm gonna do it a bit differently than what I normally do. Normally I do tarot first followed by oracle cards, but today I have my oracle cards here. I'm gonna first start with the oracle cards and then go into tarot and see what messages come, to, uh, come through. As always, these are general readings, so take the parts that resonate with you, and if it doesn't resonate, let it go, okay? So let's jump into the reading. Hope you guys are having a good day, and happy Mother's Day. And we're going to now get into the article and see if there is any, anything popping out. Spirit, can I get two cards? Please, can I get two cards? Okay, that's one. One more, please. Can I get one more? One more. All right. So sometimes the cards pop out themselves and sometimes I feel called to pull. So this one came out that we have the tree of wishes is calling your name and i like to read these cards intuitively the message on the card is an almost forgotten wish will now come true okay so what i'm hearing as i'm looking at this tree is ancestors and ancestry okay some of you uh, watching this channel are generational curse breakers uh, you are the first one in your lineage in your bloodline uh, doing things that you know your family or lineage um, almost like did not do those things or did not take those chances and it's like you're you're breaking generational curses you're breaking uh, patterns of lack and trauma and things like that is what i'm getting okay a lot of ancestor energy or ancestors in spirit could be watching you as well okay i'm also being drawn to the number here which is 24 so two and four sums up to six which is about balance learning to give and receive and that could be something that you are learning in your relationships the balance of giving and receiving now th this uh you know i'm drawn to the words here it says the tree of wishes is calling your name so what i'm get getting is you've overcome something very challenging you've overcome something that uh, maybe in your bloodline, nobody before you was able to overcome or nobody before you was able to break that. I don't know, for some reason, I'm hearing curse, okay? So it could be any kind of curse uh, that you will, you know, whatever comes to your mind when you hear this, that is what it is. But I feel like you are the one who is breaking this. And because you are breaking this, you are the one who is being allowed. There is a doorway here. There is a portal. I also treat. I also see trees as very magical, almost like magical portals. They're full of wisdom. I'm very drawn to trees. I connect with the tree energy, the tree spirits, and not every tree calls me. That's another thing I want to point out. But certain trees I do feel very connected to and I can connect to the spirit of the tree and the spirit of the tree will sometimes pass its wisdom to me. OK, so yeah. So going back to the reading, uh, there is a path that you are being called to. OK, there is a path. We see a path here and it's like spirit is saying this whatever this is it has your name written on it it's like what i'm getting with your name written on it is many may have walked that path but it's like your path is very unique to you and there is a reason why this is significant at this time it's like what i'm getting is before there like you may have tried to bring this to fruition many a times but the timing was not right or something was not right for you but finally finally it is kind of um 
you know, you, you're on the path, you're on the right path. And finally, that timing is coming about. OK, the other card that I pulled is you are caught up in drama. OK, and we see these little jellyfish around her. And if you've ever been stung by a jellyfish, jellyfish, I have been stung as a child. It's very painful. Um, so you are being caught. So again, jellyfish and being stung by jellyfish. It's like you have been situations where you have been stung. That's what I'm getting act to free yourself change and blossom again okay so this card is kind of showing me is to detach from fear detach from situations that keep you stuck uh detach from people things situations that keep you caught up in drama okay and let me pull one more card there could be outside influences that are coming in the way of your dreams or that are holding you back for, from your dreams. But this is your path. That's what I'm being shown. This is your unique path. And there could be naysayers. There could be people who feel like, you know, that you, maybe you're never going to achieve that or this is too far fetched or this is too or i don't know why i'm hearing is delusional or something like that it's like yeah so and the card that came out is release your inner rebel release and, and butterflies could be significant this card is be yourself and create your own universe okay so i'm getting a storyline here okay there could be there could be people around you who do not have this who do not share the same vision as you who do not think like you is what i'm getting who do not think like you who are naysayers who are stuck in a in a different timeline and guys this is something that i've experienced is you can have people around you in different timelines okay even if they're living in close proximity or uh, but because of their mindset because of where they are mentally okay they create they sorry create their reality based on their frequency and based on the thought processes that they have and if they are stuck in lower vibrations they kind of a lot of people who are stuck in lower vibrations they will try their best to hold others back too because they, it's like you know I, uh, misery loves company is really what i'm getting so they will like you to stay stuck and not follow your vision or they will kind of try to make you feel silly for following your dream this rebel card is really what it is telling me is allow transformation to take place or allow change to take place don't go back to that same old thinking. Don't go back to that, uh, you know, to your old patterns, to your old thinking, to that old programming. And a lot of times, you know, we we grew up in um, societies or schooling and things like that where fear, basically there's a lot of fear-based programming that runs through our system. And the more you are awakened, the more you are aware, the more you will be able to see through those programmings. And there are a lot of programmings like that. You know, there's uh, religious beliefs and there are, you know, in, in educational system, like it's, it's all it's all over the place. But the more you awaken and the more you are aware, you are able to see those programmings that are there to keep you stuck, that are there to keep you in lower vibrations and you become aware and you, you can see through those patterns, you can see through those things because of your awareness and because of your consciousness. And a lot of times people who are still stuck in those frequencies, it's pretty much I'm getting, you know, that movie, The Matrix, and if you see Neo and when he's stuck in that matrix and th those, those bots almost they want to hold him back from breaking free from the matrix this is kind of the same thing where a lot of energies will unnecessarily unnecessarily um get into conflict and 
kind of create drama in your life but you are meant to be this butterfly you are meant to be the sacred rebel okay this is be yourself and create your own universe so it's almost like you have the ingredients you know what you have to do there could be people around you for some there could be other family members around you who, who are not on the same page as you but this is like you have broken free from some kind of ancestral karma okay you could have a sacred tree that you connect with also that's another thing i'm getting and the bottom of the deck is a light filled angel is at your side for some there could be an actual person who is like an earth angel who is like a guide who is like a healer a guide a friend that is in your life that is helping you and for some this is someone on the other side okay like a loved one in spirit uh like a guardian angel or something like that so that's what's coming through with these cards now i've combined two decks and we're gonna see what comes up with this so this is very interesting i feel like your spirit guides are kind of pushing you that is okay to break free it is okay to be that rebel okay one of the things that i've learned is not everyone's gonna love you guys especially when you're creating your own path especially when you have a unique thinking especially when your consciousness expands a lot of people are not gonna like that because they're they want you to be stuck in the same pattern i'm literally getting this meta, uh, this uh, analogy in my mind the the caterpillar and the butterfly so a lot of caterp caterpillars will not accept the butterfly okay because the butterfly has earned its wings and the butterfly is doing its own thing it's no lo no longer uh, crawling on the ground and today i don't know what's happening but i'm stumbling on my words okay so that may be something that's happening with you also okay so what i'm getting is chakras the chakra system time and then we have music okay i feel like you're getting a lot of you're getting a lot of signs i'm see, i'm drawn to the number 33 you could be seeing 11 11 10 10 33 9 9 9 could be something you're seeing specifically with the chakras i feel like many of you are connecting with your guides many of you are kind of clearing up any stagnant energy that blocked your chakras or that blocked your energy in the past you are doing some release release uh, release work releasement and um, if you feel that there is any kind of blockages in your energy then you're being called to specifically work on that meditation is another thing that's coming up so you may be seeing number signs okay that's one thing and music so a lot of times spirit is gonna talk to you through music okay i know my dad does through music and i'll just kind of share something with you so uh, you know initially my dad used to come a lot when i uh, you know after he passed i could hear him l literally every single day and i remember that I would make a certain, you know, there's a certain point where I turn and he would all, he would always uh, kind of correct me that you make a very sharp turn here. I was like, dad, you can't keep correcting me when I'm driving and how am I going to drive if you keep correcting me, right? So now whenever I'm sitting in the car and if I put on the radio, I hear that song by Selena Gomez and uh, Rema, right? It's calm down. Yeah, so he plays that song to tell me to just calm down when I'm driving and it's so funny. So I just shared that experience because maybe uh, you're hearing a particular song too and that reminds you of your loved one or something like that, okay? So again, what's interesting is two and four is six and three and three is six and then we have a seven. So six, six, I, I feel like uh, number six could be significant but I feel uh, number six is about keeping your thoughts positive and not getting caught in the drama, not getting caught in 
the BS or anyone bringing anything negative to your table, you know, just being more conscious. And six is also about bringing more balance into your life. Or like, where do you need more balance? Which chakra needs more balance? Which, where does your body need more rest? Uh, do you need to spend more time outdoors in the sun? So paying attention to what is that you really need, okay? And now I'm going to tap, uh, like pull some card from Oracle of the Portals. So again, because this chakra card is right under this tree card and I felt ancestral energy with this, it's like you're, you're clearing things, you're clearing your energy from past trauma, from things that kept you stuck, things that held you back. I had to really work on my throat chakra. I, I could not express myself as a child. I could not express myself in my teen years. And I had to really work on my throat chakra. If you watch my previous videos, there are a lot of vid uh, videos where you know, I, I start coughing and it's because clearing of the throat chakra is another thing that happens, right? So maybe that's something you, you're working on or you're, you've worked on and you're still working on, okay? We have voyage. For some, there is a physical travel. For some, this could be, uh, you know, your astral traveling. Your astral traveling during dream time. And uh, you may be meeting your loved ones by astral traveling. Uh, you may be healing yourself by astral traveling, meeting up with your guides. And some of you, I feel like um, there could be a trip. And for some, I, I feel like there could be change in location is what I'm feeling with the voyage. Okay, something to do with the mountains. Maybe you're called to spend time or visit the mountains or something like that. Or you live by the ocean or you feel called to go visit, uh, you know, just being by the bodies of water or something like that. Okay, adventure. Yeah, definitely. Some kind of travel, movement. This adventure card I'm also getting with this is see life as an adventure. Okay, don't let, don't let obstacles. Mountains could be obstacles. You know, people placing obstacles or life bringing obstacles your way don't don't allow these obstacles to stop you see life as an adventure when we are on earth we are here to learn lessons right and this is the dimension where we have these intense emotions since we are in the human body we have all these intense emotions and we're working through relationships and we're working through challenges and it's like, don't let your previous past challenges hold you back, okay? That's a lot of cards, but I'm seeing this card, choice. Many of you have a choice to make, okay? Which direction are you gonna move? There could be an important decision. What I'm really getting from these cards and even from this drama card, right? Don't let fear hold you back. Fear could be holding you back from making a choice, from making an adventurous choice. If you see, it's like she's in an air balloon, but I feel like it's like she's hanging out from the air balloon, whatever this is. It feels like you could be called to take a leap. You could be called to take a chance on something, okay? And... With this choice card here, you may be wondering, should I, should I stay in my comfort zone or should I take my chances and move forward? The, the message is to take chances. Yes, there's something to do with your future. You see, she's holding the light. There's something with your future and your dreams and taking leaps and not letting, not letting your past define you not letting your fears define you. If your fears held you back in the past, it's like you can't let this, these past fears, these past versions of you or whatever was fed to you, to your mind in the past, hold you back. You are a sacred rebel. You are a light warrior. You are a warrior of light. You came here with a higher purpose. And not everyone's going to make, uh, you know, going to understand your purpose. Just like when 
the caterpillar goes through its metamorphosis to become a butterfly not everyone understands that right until it comes out from its cocoon with its wings so this is the this is the phase you're going through where all these things are kind of shifting within you pay attention to what is shifting within you pay attention to your body pay attention to your emotions pay attention to your thoughts don't allow uh you know there's a lot of fear programming even if you switch on the tv like there's a lot of fear programming guys and i won't go too much into this but the more sensitive you become your body becomes your emotions becomes you know you're in, the more sensitive you become as an individual the more you're able to pick on what is fear based what is true what's working for you what's not working for you and it's like trust the divine plan is really what i'm hearing trust the divine plan you may receive messages through music okay someone here who watches my channel you listen to a lot of music and this card is just saying you may receive signs through music the words are literally going to make sense like you will understand they will apply to your life situation okay so this was from oracle cards i'm going to pull three cards and you know with tarot and then close the reading but what i'm getting is leap of faith okay leap of faith the hierophant came out but it flipped okay what i'm getting with the hierophant and the hierophant is always a very positive card but i'm with the it, because it fell down reverse i'm going to read it like that there are certain rules and regulations and beliefs and programming that you grew up with and they may have worked for you till a certain point in your life but I feel like with the Hierophant Reverse, you've outgrown those situations. And uh, even as I say this, I'm seeing five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So this is, these programmings are keeping you stuck. These programmings are keeping you in fear. You're not supposed to be in fear. You are supposed to break free from this this programming these programs have worked for you for a certain time i'm not saying they didn't work they work for you but now you're in, a, in another energy ace of swords truth this is the truth okay you know your truth she's wearing blue this is about speaking your truth throat chakra you know what your truth is you're very aligned to the divine and some people may not like that, okay? I'm seeing the Queen of Wands that fell down, okay? With the Emperor. Yeah, five of, uh, this is the five of cups. You see how she is scolding him? She is scolding him, making him regret. There could be some people around you who make you feel bad for your choices. This could have been, if you see, this is a child and this is a mother figure or something and she's scolding the child for the things that went wrong there could be some i don't know maybe in the past there was a parental figure that made you feel like crap that made you feel like you're not look she's pointing she's pointing the finger at him ma making you feel responsible for your choices decisions i mean you you're cutting this crap out basically that's what i'm getting really all, all this uh, you know all this guilt shame uh you know all this negative it's, it's like negative programming i don't know i'm hearing uh you had to you had to work hard to earn love and i hate that you know when uh you know you have to earn love with anyone you don't have to earn love whether it's with with anyone in your life okay you are love like you have to understand that you yourself are love you don't have to go with a container like a beggar begging anyone for love okay and i don't know i don't know why that's coming through but it's like maybe you grew up where you were made to feel like you had to be a good girl or be this or just basically keep silent or something to even uh get to be loved okay and it's like spirit is showing you that's the end of that okay that's 
that you are no longer going to beg for love. You don't have to earn love. You realize you are love. You are breaking free from all these old programmings that made you feel like shit, that made you feel unworthy of love or made you feel you are unworthy to get anything. You are the queen of wands. You are the emperor. Male, female, doesn't matter. You are this, okay? You know what, where you're headed. You know what you're doing. You're being called to lead. You're being called to lead. You're being called to use your voice. You have a voice for a reason. Spirit is aligning you to your higher purpose. And your higher purpose with the Hierophant reverse is not going to make sense with everyone. It's not going to make sense. <coughs> yeah, they they will not want you to speak up. But they, they will want you to feel like this. Just, just like this woman is making this child feel bad about his choices. Don't, don't. Don't go back to that old programming. You are better than that. That's what I'm hearing. You are better than that. Okay. I will close here. I just saw 2555. Five, five. So 555. Five, five. That's the number of big changes. You guys have a good one. I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.